Hello everyone, welcome to AFS Hackers. I'm Afshan. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the starting point machine of Hack the Box that is OPSI. So, in this box, we are going to learn about the information disclosure and broken access control types of vulnerabilities. So, I have already started my machine. Here is my IP address. Your IP address will be different. So, let's start with the first task. So, the first question is with what kind of tool can intercept web traffic? So it is a very basic question. Like if you see the hint, uh, there is an academy module for this. Also, Burp can be considered such a tool. So that is proxy. Proxy is a tool that can intercept web traffic. Okay, let's submit the answer. It is correct. Task 2 is what is the path to the directory on the web server that return a login page? So let's see the hint spider the site with bug so let let's copy the ip address and scan the machine we will ping the machine first yes it is up and running okay okay let's wait so our nmap scan is completed so on port 22 the ssh service is running and on port 80 the HTTP server that is Apache server is running. Let's see the web server. Okay. Services. We provide services to operate manufacturing data such as quotes, customer requests, etc. Please log in to get access to the service. So, according to this information, the website should have a login page, right? So, before we proceed with directory and page enumeration, we can try to map website by using Burp Suite, uh, Burp Suite proxy to passively spider the website. Let's start our Burp Suite. Let's set up our proxy first. Just start your Mozilla Firefox browser and just go to and just go to preferences. Search the proxy. Go to the network settings. And so there is an option called manual proxy configuration. Uh, you need to write your loopback IP address and it is running on port 8080 also check this particular checkbox that is also use this proxy for ftp and https so let's click on ok and go to our bob suite okay and and reload this page go to the target and let's list the directory so there is a one interesting directory that is cdn cgi and there is a login page so let's visit the directory that is cd cdn cgi login and yes we have found this page and and let's try the basic username that is admin admin to login no and yes we have this option that is login as guest so let's click on it okay so there is only one tab that is interesting that is upload so let's click on upload so this action requires super admin rights so we need to find a way to escalate our privilege from user guest to super admin role uh, one way to try this is by checking if cookies and sessions can be manipulated so basically cookies are the text file with small pieces of data created by the web server and stored by the browser into the computer file system and being used to identify a user while he's browsing a website so it is possible to view and change cookies in, in in browser by using developer tool. In order to enter the developer's tool panel, we need to 
we need to right click on the content of the page and select the inspect element just click on inspect element and navigate to storage currently we are using chrome browser so let's go to application so in storage section there is an option called cookies and let's click on it so as you guys can see there is a role that is guest and the user is 2233 which we can assume that if we somehow knew the number of super admin for the user variable uh, we might be able to gain access to the upload file so if you if you check the url on our browser bar again where there is an id for every user so we can try change the this id variable to something else like for example one to see if we can enumerate the users so let's write one and yes we have got the access id and the admin name and it is an information disclosure vulnerability uh, which we might be able to abuse we now know the access id of the admin user thus we can try to change the values in our cookies uh, through the developers tool so the user value to be 24322 and the role value to be admin and yes i have already set the values so just refresh the page and go to this upload directory uh, we finally got access to the upload form okay uh, now we got an access to the upload form we can attempt to upload a php reverse shell instead of creating our own uh, we will use an existing one so uh, let's go to this usr sh share web shells folder go to this php folder and php reverse shell is there let's nano the reverse shell and i have already pasted my ip address here you need to write your inet address here and the port is 1234 so let's let's try to upload this file Uh, usr share web shells php and the php reverse shell select it and upload okay so now we need to brute force the directory in order to locate the folder where the uploaded files are stored uh, but we can also guess it uploads directory seems a logical assumption but let's confirm it by the gobuster go buster okay we are going to use the following command and let's hit enter okay so there is a folder called uploads so let's go to this page uh, let's paste it here okay so we don't have a permission to access but we can access our uh, but we can access our php reverse shell so let's set up the netcat which is listening on port 1234 and yes so we got a reverse shell so we'll use the following command to have a fully functional shell okay let's write who am i so this ww data so this role has restricted access on the system since the website is making use of php and sql we can enumerate further the web directories of potential disclosure so let's go to the web directories that is var www html list the file and let's go to cdn cgi login okay let's list the file so we are using the cat command to read all files while piping out the output to grep where we provide the pattern of a string that in our case that is pass w this i switch will ignore case sensitive words so we have got this password that is mega cough admin let's copy it 
and paste it here. Now we can check the available users are on the system by reading the file that is cat etc pass wd and we have found the user robert so in order to log in as this user we need to use the following command that is su robert and let's copy the password authentication failure so let's read other files one by one and we'll start with this db.php and as you guys can see we have found the robert password let's copy it paste it here okay let's switch to robert okay let's go to the home directory okay and list the file cat the user flag and we have got our flag just copy it and okay uh, so the task 2 is what is the path to the directory on the web server that return a login page so that is cdn cgi login so, so the task 3 is what can be modified in firefox to get access to the upload page so that is cookies we have we have manipulated the cookie submit okay task 4 is what is the access id of the admin user so we have already copied it that is 34322 let's paste it here submit the answer okay it is correct on uploading a file uh, what directory does that file appears in on a server so it is uploads directory okay task 6 is uh, what is the what is the file that contains the password that is shared with the robert user so that is db.php okay okay so before running any privilege escalation or enumeration script, uh, let's check the basic command for elevating privileges like sudo and id. So let's check the privileges of this particular user. Uh, this robot user is a part of the group called bug tracker. So let's try to see if there is any binary within that group. So will use the following command that is find group bug tracker dev dev null so there is a binary called bug tracker is present so let's check what privileges and what type of file is this. So we'll use the following command that is usr bin bug tracker and file usr. So there is there is a set owner user ID set on that binary which is a promising exploitation path so let's run this binary usr bin bug tracker uh, let's say 5 so the tool is accepting user input as a name of the file that will be read using the cat command 
and uh, it does not specify the whole path to the file cat and we might be able to exploit this so let's go to the let's go to the temp folder we'll create a file name cat so let's echo bin sh cat okay and let's see the file yes the cat file is present and let's give the executable permission to this cat file okay now let's set up the environmental variable we'll use the following command export path temp echo path and yes it is present here and let's run the binary usr bin bug tracker for and now we are the root let's write who am i uh, yes root let's write pwd the root folder okay ls and we have got a root flag uh, but we can't use cat command normally here and uh, we will be using the bin cat root.txt and yes we have got our flag root flag let's copy it and paste it here okay so what executable is run with the option group bug tracker to identify all files owned by the bug tracker group so we have used fine let's submit the answer yes it is correct regardless of which user start running the bug tracker executable what's user privilege will use to run uh, that is root privileges root submit the answer yes uh, what suid stand for that is so that is set owner user id let's submit the answer it is correct what is the name of the executable being called in an insecure manner so let's see the hint look at the error messages when bug tracker is run uh, what file is missing its directory path so that is cat yes it is correct uh, submit the user flag i have already copied it okay htb submit the answer and the root flag is okay let's submit the answer so we have successfully pawned the oopsie machine of hack the box and i hope you like this video guys if you did then share this video with your friends and colleagues and yes don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep hacking